Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Simulator Classic. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a scenario by Wayne Crowley. The uh, the scenario is actually in the description, so if you want to go check this out, uh, you can do that. There is a link to that down below. We're going to be taking a Class 31 in the uh, British Rail Civil Engineers livery, which is absolutely stunning, with a rake of four Mark 1 coaches. Or are they Mark 2s? Is that a Mark 2? Mark 2C maybe, I'm not entirely sure, that's a Mark 1, I know that much. Uh, we've got uh, regional railways and of course Intercity there. The year been 1993, uh, it's a summer Saturday and that meant local hold trains. This service is a Nottingham service today, uh, we're just going to get that in uh, in neutral, there we go, we've got no AWS, <coughs> excuse me, no AWS which is, uh, is a little bit weird uh, for me. We don't tend to drive things without AWS, do we? So we're going to bang that in forward. I don't know if... Uh, we're using the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack uh, for the Class 31, uh, which is absolutely fantastic, he says. I've not really driven it. I've driven it a little way. There we go. That's all I've done. Just a, just a little, little teeny way. Um, obviously, this is one of those where you actually... The brake pressure has to go up on the locos rather than down, obviously, on the... EMUs, DMUs that we're used to driving when the brakes release their down there. If I press I, we don't get any lighting here, so I don't know if like, is, is that a, a... did they have lights in these things? I have no idea. Um, weirdly enough, you can't actually turn your viewpoint. It's sort of... that's all you can do. Oh, right. Do we have a... do we have a buzzer? I don't know. I'm pressing C. Nothing's happening. Right, off we go. Let's, uh, let's bang it in. Notch one. And we'll just see what happens. Come on. Oh, we've got some revs building. That'll do. Oh, wow. Bang it in full power. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? We're on the wary lines, of course. I haven't actually said that. We're starting in uh, Great Yarmouth. Going to be running a service through to Norwich, calling it Reedham Brundle, Norwich. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to bother with the run around at Norwich. We're just going to drive the, uh, the actual passenger service. Uh, today. Uh, of course we're using the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhanced Weather Clouds. It's, uh, to say it's a summer Saturday it's quite miserable which to be fair is pretty lifelike for a summer Saturday. Um, yeah, I don't know what the uh, the, the scenery traffic is going to be like on this to be honest with you. Um, haven't actually looked at the uh, so we're on 1 Mike 85, the 1655 Great Yarmouth to Nottingham. Afternoon driver, open the doors, we've done that, yeah, not a problem. Uh, although by this time these services were booked for RFD, is that Rail Freight Division? Class 47 haulage, there was no loco available today, so instead you've been given Beskett allocated 31519. Excellent. You'll be running via Reedham with no intermediate calling points. On arrival at Norwich, be sure to stop at the runaround indicator to be sure that the train is in the correct position. Your maximum speed for this journey is 60 miles per hour. Okie dokie, well we can do that, can't we? We can uh, we can follow those instructions. What I do want is a uh, is a nice little... Look at that. Look at that. Isn't the 31 a lovely looking locomotive? They're so... I mean, they're quite basic, aren't they, really, when you look at them? Oh, off we go. Full steam ahead. Can we can we open the window? Hear the, uh, hear the thrash? Is that a... Nope. I mean, they do have slidey uppy downy windows there by the look of things, but we can't open them. Wow! 156! And you forget these things are fairly new at this point, aren't they? I mean, eh, 1993. Yeah, they're uh, around 10 years old, aren't they? I can't remember when 156s were new, to be honest with you. Mid 80s. Off we go, look at that. Doesn't it sound brilliant? I mean, the cab model is absolutely abhorrently bad. Uh, you know. <laughs> You could cut yourself on that phone, for God's sake, but uh, hey, it's one of those. I don't know when the uh, the 31 was actually brought out for Train Simulator, but quite a while ago. Was it one of Dovetail Games' earlier releases? Because to be fair, the visuals for Dovetail have got a lot better. It must be one of the earlier ones. Look at that, we're flying along, aren't we? Loco with four coaches, what a great idea! Why, but my tread simulator looks absolutely terrible, doesn't it? Why does it look so bad? Is it because we don't have the AP track pack on this? That could be it. I'm just looking at it now, thinking I'm sure it never used to be this. It, it's sort of, it's performing very well. Usually it's a little bit more... 
little bit more stuttery. But yeah, just looking out the window there, I don't know if it's just the sky, because it's grey, because there's no textures in the sky, maybe that's why. It just all sort of looks a bit... I don't know. Oh, don't tell me that something's gone wrong. Look at that, straight up to 60. Get a nice little. I mean, we can't really get a nice picture, can we? I mean, that's a bit. I mean, what we'll do? We'll pause. There we go. That's better. Get a nice little. Uh, oh, hang on. I was going to say a nice little print screen there. There we go. We'll uh, we'll do that. We'll just press. We'll use F12. That's a little bit uh, a little bit easier, isn't it? That'll do. And another. Right. Full steam ahead. Oh, we're speeding. Post. A little bit of braking, just a just a smidge. Don't need to do anything drastic, do we? There we go. Right, we're, we're back on it. Of course, let's not forget that locos are a lot heavier, uh, locos and coaches, than a, a little one five six, for example. The, uh, the throttle to the on position there. How's that? Just to keep us uh, keep us moving. Read them just under six miles away now. I always find these to be a bit of an odd looking sort of contraption. I mean, we've got the door. At the, I'm assuming that's a door at the front. Because, I mean, I mean, yeah, that's a massive step down there, isn't it? I mean. Like, what is the purpose of this thing here? It must be for a door. Like, what, what does that do? I don't know. Phone's going to start ringing in a minute, isn't it? No, we'll just put that back down because I don't actually know what it did. Is it is it the light on the... Oh, it's the light on the front. Look at that. There we go. Right, well, we'll stop playing with that because the signaler's going to think that there's a problem. I especially like... You can see that we're jolting about here. If you look at the coaches... Look at that. They're all just sort of whizzing about. Cool. I love it. <laughs> Do you know what? I've never actually driven anything loco hold with the Armstrong Powerhouse Enhancement Pack for coaches. It sounds great. I love it. Do you know what? We might have to actually drive some more loco hold stuff here, people. We might have to. I know. But Joe, you love multiple units. What are you saying? I know. Right, let's just, we're, we're just getting a little bit quick here, aren't we? Let's just ease off. building on the left, isn't it? I guess it's not that small. We're just quite high up. I forget the way we are actually really raised here, aren't we? Looking down on everything. Oh, it's um, it's that little station. Burning arms. I guess we're not stopping there. Not with the local hold service, surely. Yeah, we definitely can't stop there with the local hold service, for goodness sake. Could you imagine? Well, I guess it probably will have done at one point. Yeah, I forget this is the one that goes by Burning Arms, isn't it? It's the way down to Lower Stoft. I can never remember. Yeah, because we join on, don't we, with the line to Lower Stoft? That's, so we're sort of up here. Yeah, we're coming down to go back up again, and Lower Stoft's down here. Yes, I know it. I know it well. Oh, hang on, don't pause it. Just come out of that menu, that's fine. It will suffice. Bit more, a little bit more power. Oof, 
two and a half miles away. We've got a little uh, bit of forest going on on the right hand side here, look, just coming into view. The uh, patchwork cloud. It is a miserable day, isn't it? more power. Right, okay, so 15 is obviously where we're going to be joining at, uh, I'm going to say it's Reedham East Junction, maybe? We don't actually get to find out the names of the junctions, but that would sort of strike me as, you know, Reedham Station Junction, maybe? Reedham South? It's sort of southeast, isn't it? in the field on the right hand side. Oh look, some sort of it's like a grain silo. No, of course it's not. It's a big old house. A church. What's happening? Oh, is that the AWS? I didn't realise these things did. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the one. I honestly wondered what was happening then. Good job we didn't drop the AWS, isn't it? I've just realised this signal could actually be red. Yeah, get a bit more braking on. How's that? I haven't been paying attention to the signals, for goodness sake. Although, actually, what's what's this showing up here? Oh, it's green. Right, that'll do. Right, keep going. Onwards. Of course, this is a loco, so uh, just remember the braking, Joe. Cross, aren't we? Is it Ladder Junction? I forget. Is that, I'm not doing my best for passenger comfort here, am I? It's very much a efficiency drive. Right, there we go. Another notch. Wonder if we've got many spotters on this. I think we'll have many. Obviously, a 31 loco hold. I imagine there'll be a few on this, don't you? Oh, it looks so good! Bobbing the uh, the throttle on on there just to you know just to see us over the junction, nice and steady into the station. There's not really a lot of point in accelerating, is there? I mean, to be fair, we don't have any time to be at any of these places. You know, like we had to arrive and depart uh, Great Yarmouth. There, we can just sort of wander in as and so when we choose. So we'll just uh, we'll just plod. No point rushing as they're making a mistake. Will we fit? There's a lot of foliage growing on this platform. I don't think we're meant to stop there, but what I might do is... Uh, there we go, a little bit of braking. Just a, just a smidge. Obviously you've got your, uh, your three car board there. I might take it so that we're on the grass. There we go, yeah. So the loco's on the grass, and the coaches are all on the platform, how's that? That's quite a good idea, isn't it, you see? Right, into neutral. Bang the doors open. Hang on, can we, can we put it in neutral? There we go. Bang the doors open. You see, that, that was quite a good idea of mine, though. That one's not on enough. Never mind. It were a good idea in principle, wasn't it? Maybe next time I'll stop a little bit further down. Hey, do you know what? This video now... Is the first time in my whole life that I've ever driven this Class 31 on Train Simulator. So do you know what? I'm quite pleased with that stop. Never done it before. What I really want is a, uh, a Class 47 enhancement pack. That'd be good. Do we just set off as and when? I'm guessing we do. We don't get a buzz buzz, do we? Probably flags and whistles. 
There we go, right into full power. It is quite cool, isn't it, the uh, the local hold on. Local hold stuff onto stopping services, it's just bonkers, isn't it? Yeah, I need to find a Wherry Lines AP track enhancement uh, patch, don't I? This is definitely not AP track, it doesn't look very good, even though it's an AP route. So we're on the main line now, aren't we? Full steam ahead. Obviously we're stopping at Brundle, but not Brundle Gardens. Why are we... There we go. Had I left the brakes on there? No, surely not. Maybe I had. No, we definitely released them, didn't we? What have we got coming the other way? It won't be a 170, because obviously they weren't about on uh, on this neck of the woods. This particular section of line. It could actually be a 150. Now, actually, looking at that full yellow front, I'm feeling a 101, maybe. So, of course... Oh! He's just turned his lights on. Look at that. Class 101, give him a wave! It's not often you see a 101 as AI traffic in my videos, is it? It's really not, actually. It's uh, somewhat unusual. There we go. We'll bang it in notch two, because that's where it seems to like being held at 60. What looks like a colliery or a, a stone place. I believe the words are quarry. This is Brundle Gardens. No, it can't be. Brundle Gardens. Uh, I don't know actually. Should we have a look? It's not Brundle Gardens. I know that much. Cantley. There we go. Cantley. Obviously we're not stopping there. May uh, toot for the whistle board. You know what, I do actually really, really miss driving the Wherry Lines. We haven't been down here in absolutely ages, have we? I might try and find a scenario, or I'll get Magic Toad to make one. Like driving the Wherry Lines, but with a, uh, a 150 stroke 2. Obviously, they've not been down here in a while, have they? But like an Anglia livery one. I love that ang ang Anglia? Anglia livery. I love the Anglia livery. Especially on that 150, it looks great. And on 170s, also looks absolutely fantastic. Is that owned by National Express? I forget. Who owned Anglia Railways? Because they had like 86s as well, didn't they? Oh, brilliant. Beautiful. It's like a transport fever incline, isn't it? off again. Brundling two and a half miles. Luckily this time we don't actually have to slow down to, uh, to 15. However, that might not be luckily because now I do actually have to show that I can stop the train myself. Is this Swanley? I know that Swanley's a place down here, isn't it? 
Is this the, uh, the stack of platforms, maybe? Look at them. Doesn't that sound fantastic? Right, hang on. Let's, let's position ourselves over here. There we go. Ah, oh, look at that. It looks ace! And you get the da 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 Ace. Absolutely fantastic. Right, let's just ease off with you, because we've got the uh, got Brundle coming into sight now on our uh, on our sat nav there. Another level crossing. Surely the uh, the whistle board is the wrong side of the level crossing. No? No, is that just me? Maybe it's because this is a foot crossing here. Maybe that's why. Let's take it nice and steady. How's that? Hell, we're getting thrown about all over the place. What do the coaches look like on this? Jesus. I'm going to tip over. We'll go for a bit of 15%. How's that? Initial? No, that's initial. That's not going to work. A little bit more. Yeah, we'll just go for the nice steady stop. Got the line uh, round from the right there. This is the line from Akel. So you can actually get to Great Yarmouth that way. It joins up. You know that single track that went off to the right? Probably where that 156 came from. Can't believe that this thing's meant to change ends and then go all the way to Nottingham. It's nuts, isn't it, when you think about it? Right, let's actually make sure that we stop. Keep a little bit of braking on that. See, this is an S car board. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go past it, because the level crossing's shut anyway, isn't it? Oh, we're going to stop, we're going to stop, we're going to stop. There we go, that'll do. That was planned. I've not been funny, but the doors are all on, aren't they? See, this actually, the green line where the loco is, is past... So I guess that we're... Yeah, I reckon that we're meant to... With the loco, we're meant to stop further past. I reckon we probably are. Right, here we go. Oh, I, I feel like if you listen very carefully, you can just hear the faint sound of a whistle in the background. Bang it in full power and hope for the best. So if we uh, if we go there, look at that. That's just nice, isn't it? That's another picture. Oh, I've just been hit by a skip. Never mind. Right, full steam ahead, Norwich, the next stop. Just over five and a half miles. We'll go through Brundle Gardens down here, won't we? See, I do know this route. Ish.
I'm hoping that there'll be quite a bit to see when we get down to uh, Norwich, because obviously we go past the depot, don't we, on the left-hand side, where we join on from the, uh, the London services. Oh, here we go, Brundle Gardens. Now, this is going to sound a really silly question, but are there actually, like, some gardens in Brundle? Like, obviously, I know they're for people's gardens, but, like, is there something, like, maybe owned by the National Trust? Is that what this is about? Like, a nature reserve, maybe? Is, is that what there is here? I don't know. I don't want to assume, because, like, Flowery Field in Manchester is not a particularly flowery area of Manchester, I don't believe. Not as uh, flowery as I've been led to believe, anyway. Bang it back to notch two. There we go. That's the notch. That's the notch to be in. What a great... That's just a great AWS sound, isn't it? <laughs> it's just brilliant. I love it. Now, what's this postwick up on about here? Does this mean we're going to get some sort of instruction? Don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's just to go via Postwick up. I've never had to sort of contend with runarounds before either, so uh, right, do we get a little, I don't know, no sort of pop up thing arriving? Maybe we have to go past it. No? Nothing at all, to be honest with you. That's uh, that's a bit of an odd one. Oh, there we go. This is 1992. We shouldn't have a load of Gemini 2s over there on the right-hand side. I do like the sort of period liveries we've got going on on all the trains. It's, uh, it's lovely, isn't it? Really, really lovely. Another big house on the right hand side there. Strikes me as the sort of place where there's just loads of really, really big houses. You know, lots of people into horse riding. Oh, bit of overgrown uh, track work on the left hand side there. Do where this left hand turn goes. Let's have a look. It's Sheringham. Cell house. Oh, okay. We've got a uh, we've got a yellow signal. Just uh, just take it nice and easy. Oh wow! Talking of one fifty stroke twos, look at that regional railways. Beautiful. Where's my bridge? I paid for this route. Implying that I don't pay for my other routes. No, but it's not like it's a freeway route. Why have I got a milk bottle bridge here? For goodness sake! Unless they've updated it. I'm absolutely adamant that bridge has always been there whenever I've drawn over, uh, drawn over it, driven over it. Oh, another signal. Right, we'll uh, back up to speed. Forget we're not on semaphore anymore, are we? We're under the wires now. Another bridge that we're missing. Little milk bottle in the middle. Where have all my bridges gone? Right, okay, we've got a reg coming up. That's absolutely fine. So we'll just get a bit of breaking in here. What's this on the left? An 86 in intercity livery, maybe? Uh, 
Yeah, no 90s here, of course, because they're all on the West Coast main line still. More 86s, look. And there'll be Mark IIs with the uh, the Mark II DBSO on the end. Oh, 158 over there. Wow, look at that. 156s. Oh, another 158 over there, Regional Railways. Oh, doesn't it look good? I mean, we're not actually due in for another eight minutes yet, so we, uh, we might have to wait for something to happen. Come on, stop. There we go. Right, well, uh, I was going to say we'll put the DRA on, but, I mean, we don't have one. What's this on here? Does this work? See, the instrument light does work, it just doesn't work in this cab. Oh, hang on, we got headlights up there as well, so you can actually put them both on. I should really have had both, probably. It's, it's annoying, because instrument lights, you know, we, we should have that feature. I can't believe it doesn't. Maybe they're on permanently? What happens when you drive it at night and can't see anything? Right, okie dokie. Oh, it does look good, doesn't it? I've always thought the 31s are quite tall, aren't they? They're tall and narrow. I, I feel like other locos are wider. Like, I mean, these chaps over here. I do quite like the fact that, I mean, if you look at the cab, it doesn't matter whether you're in or outside, it's because they're, they're so low resolution. They've actually got it on the static model. But yeah, I feel like these are wider. I, I do like an 86. Should we just nip in? Oh, look at that, beautiful. Never actually driven an 86 on Trensim either. We need to, uh, what have we got? North, Norfolk and Norwich Festival. Norwich Union. Are they all named after Norwich by any chance? The Round Tabler. It's quite cool, isn't it? What have we got down here? 158, 784. Express. Oh! 784 not become a Trans Pennine unit. What else have we got around here? Uh, what's this? 780. Oof. I'll fire all that into it. Let's have a look, right. 158780. Oh, it's uh, East Midlands. And then 784. Probably also an East Midlands one. Oh no, it's a Northern one. Well, oh, fair dues. I don't know, was it 784? I forget. I mean, we're just killing time at this stage. Yeah, Northern 784. Wow. Ex-Central Trains, maybe? Um, Flicker's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Yes, Ex-Central Trains. It actually was uh, Northern with one of those funky adverts on the side, if you remember. Uh, they used to have, like, different coloured things. Oh, it was Barbara Castle. Oh, as if. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm having a moment here. I hope you realise I'm, uh, I'm loving this. It's just weird, isn't it? Like seeing them all the way back here and like all the different liveries that they've been in since we're in that regional railways express livery. Right? Are we, uh, are we ready? <coughs> you know, I know that we don't have to tab past it because this ETA number here isn't going up and up and up. So we're probably waiting for this chap to come out here. Once he's out, we'll probably cross over and, uh, and away we go. Which one is it? Is it, uh, oh, it's 842, so it's Perkins one, is it? Oh no, Cummins. I always think that, um, literally anything with the, uh, with, that starts with an 8, I just assume it's a Perkins one. Right, are we ready? I do feel if we're going to be there in exactly three minutes, we need to get a wriggle on. 
you know, just sort of any time now. No? Nothing? Does that train need to pass that signal down there? Maybe it does. Or maybe nothing's happening at all. Oh, I'm panicking now. I don't want to get stuck here. God, don't tell me there's something else coming out. There might be a London coming out, to be honest with you. We might see something going uh, from right to left, or even left to right. We might be helped for the London to go in. Oh, route set. It's just appeared on there. That's just appeared in the corner, hasn't it? Or was I just imagining it? We uh, the point set in signal will clear any minute now. God, there's no rushes in the uh, in the Norwich signal box this month. Oh, there we go. Look, one five eight's coming out. Lovely. And what is it? Is it a one five eight? Yes, it is. Lovely. I didn't know if it was a 158 or a 156 with the... Uh, right, here we go. Full steam ahead. Right, it was only a yellow, and we do have another signal to get past yet, so we'll uh, we'll just ease it round the corner. Oh, we're not going over to the right. I thought we'd be going over that way. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll treat this as if it's a red. So obviously, we need to stop at the uh, the reversing stop car marker. Oh, we've got, uh, I mean, is this my signal? I think it is, and it's red. No, okay, it's not. We're going for uh, platform two, and that's obviously got a two on it, so that one's ours. I mean, how do you, surely that would be the, uh, the signal you'd follow. It's one of them, isn't it? Right, here we go. And we're going round to the left here. Going across again? No, we're going down the middle. That's fine. Right, we'll have a little bit of braking. Just a, just a smidge. Where's this runaround going to happen? Ah, right, okay. That's fine. We need to be looking for this runaround marker, don't we? did warn us to be careful that we stopped in the right place. Ah, here we go. Right, hang on. Here it is. You can just see it hanging from the ceiling, this white. This white notice. Local run round movement. Stop here. Oh, don't stop too soon. There we go, that'll do. About right, isn't it? Okay, we've stopped a bit past it, but I'm sure that's fine. Right, there we go. That is where we're going to leave it for today. How on earth did that take 40 minutes? I didn't think it would take so long. Uh, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen. If you have, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. The uh, The idea now is that the loco is going to detach, come down this platform here, all the way down there, back across bang on the front and continue uh, full steam ahead up to Nottingham. So yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. If you haven't already, do make sure you subscribe so that you never miss out on any future episodes. And uh, yeah, besides that, thank you so, so much for watching. Hopefully, I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.